Welcome back. Okay, what I'm going to show you today, this tutorial is going to show you how to change your MAC address to spoof it. This is good just in case, you know, your MAC address was banned from either like a wireless connection or whatnot. This will help you spoof it so you can clone it as another computer's MAC or create your own so you can keep more anonymous. This is really well when you're connecting to public locations. So let's go ahead and let's find the software. Go ahead and type Mac ID Changer, all one word. It's the easiest way to find this software because this software is free. Usually people charge for it. This one's free. So we're going to go ahead and type that. Click the second one on voyish.com. Click the second one. And that's the one we want right there. We want this Mac address changer. The source code is available also in Visual C++ 2005. But we're going to go ahead and download the binary version. So let's go ahead and download that. Here's my download manager again. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll know. Okay, there, right, it's finished. Voila. Let's go ahead and minimize this. <clears throat> Here's the MAC address changer right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what's in it. We got one file. That's all we need. Let's extract it to the desktop. All right. Here's our MAC address changer. Before I show you how to use it, let's go ahead and open up command prompt. I'm going to go ahead and do IP config forward slash all. <clears throat> okay, we're going to change the MAC address on my wireless, my Dell wireless 1390 card. This right here is my physical address. Let's go ahead and open up notepad. I'm going to leave pretty much the same, but just so this is to reminder, the last four is going to be E4-91. As you can see, E4-91. Those are the last hex on my Mac. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's bring this down. Let's go ahead and do this Mac address changer. Choose which you only would like to do. This is my wireless. Once I change this, my connection is going to drop and it's going to restart. See, I download a lot. My connection is going to restart. That's okay. We're going to change this. Let's let's do zero zero and keep hex the same. We'll do ee. -E. We're going to go ahead and change MAC address. As you can see down here. I'm still connected. Bam, it's gone. It changed. It's gone. It stopped the service. Mac address has been completely done. What it does is it stops the services and re enters it. As you see, it's automatically reconnecting to the internet for me. There we go. I'm connected. Now let's go back to command prompt. There's my old Mac address. Let me just scroll down here a little bit. We're going to do IP config all again. My Dell Wireless 00EE. See the difference? I successfully spoofed my MAC address to something else. So now, if MAC filtering was on a router and it blocked my one MAC address, I can spoof it to connect again. If you don't remember what your old MAC address was when you changed it, go ahead and reset MAC address. It'll disconnect me again, and notice it's reconnecting me right now. See, I'm connected. IP config all again. Oh, look, my MAC address is back to normal. This is a great tool to spoof your MAC address with. 
Another way you can do it is if you're using Broadcom. My actual wireless card is Broadcom. It may work with other wireless cards, but I'm not sure. So we're going to go ahead and go in the control panel. We're going to open up network connections. I named mine Wi Fi because, uh, yeah, duh. And then we're going to go to config. This will not work on old cards. This Mac address changer will work on cards. I can go to advance and see I got all these sense. I got afterburner, which is to say, should be enabled. I got Bluetooth, I got all that. And Broadcom, they allow this one spot where you can actually change it manually. So if I wanted to, I could just change that manually, just like that. And go OK. It's going to disable my card again, and it's going to re-enable it. Let's go ahead and right click on that again. Properties. Configure. I'm going to change this back to where it was. Here we go. Now you just learn how to successfully to spoof your Mac. That's all I have for this tutorial right now. If you like to see anything else, like a tutorial or a video how to do something, please send me a comment and let me know. Alright, thanks.